it's actually happening. Ana 5 is coming. I think it's going to be like the first event of December. It was just announced at the live stream today. So I am super excited. Um, if there's one thing you need to know about me is I love yapping about Anna and Mizuki. So naturally, I wanted to make a video discussing what I think is going to play out in Anna 5. And that comes with doing a deep analysis of Mizu 5 because this event is most certainly dictating how Anna 5 is going to play out. I mean, the impact of Mizu 5 was wild, right? And I honestly, I think it was deserved because Prosecca wrote an incredible complex character dealing with gender identity that kind of strays from what we're used to seeing when it comes to coming out stories. With that said, I think that there's going to be a lot to grapple with when it comes to Anna 5 because she's going to be navigating something that's very difficult, something that she probably doesn't have the vocabulary for and probably has never even thought of before. So basically in this video, and I hope that I do it justice, I'm going to talk about two major points in Mizu 5, which are coming out and being outed. And then I kind of want to discuss how those are going to continue to play out in Anna 5. Coming out has been like at the forefront of Mizuki's story since the beginning of Nigo. I mean, the writers really took this storyline to its peak though in Mizu 5 in this very real and authentic coming out experience. There's nothing unique about a story where a character is nervous to come out, right? But it's why Mizuki is nervous that blew me away because I feel like they really captured the queer experience here with this idea that Nigo is going to accept it. However, the dynamic is going to change moving forward and that is what is scary. Of course, there's reasoning for feeling this way. Mizuki is othered throughout school, whether they're calling Mizuki weird or quote unquote a guy, going through a phase, etc. And then there's classmates who tolerate it but don't understand it, which of course is going to cause isolation. So Mizuki fears that when Nigo finds out about the secret, there's a high chance in Mizuki's mind that they'll accept it, but they'll tiptoe around it moving forward to not come off as offensive because that is Mizuki's experience. And the idea of getting othered by the people closest to you is something Mizuki is unable to stomach. So naturally, Mizuki is reluctant to come out because Nigo right now is an escape in a seemingly different world. Anna, Kanade, and Mafu see Mizuki as a cis girl. There is no hesitancy or questions like there is at school. So it's an opportunity for Mizuki to fulfill the desire to bond with girls while also being viewed as one of them without a worry of being outcasted. However, the price of this bond is, of course, the inability to truly open up to the group. And this comes out in a very emotional conversation at the end of Mizu 5. And while completely distraught, Mizuki is able to convey the feelings of disgust for being othered. And as we know, Enna doesn't get a word in here before Mizuki runs away, but I think that this is a pivotal moment for Anna moving forward. Anna did not expect this to happen this way. She was mentally and emotionally prepared to accept anything for Mizuki and focus solely on her support. But now that's going to become her issue and her focus because she's confronted with a secret that needs special care to move forward. How is Anna going to support Mizuki in a way that acknowledges the secret, doesn't tiptoe around it, but also doesn't other Mizuki? I'm sure that she's up for it and I'll talk more about that in a bit when I discuss the trailer, but Anna will need to rethink how she goes about her support because for Anna, she's never literally literally like focused on what the actual secret is. It's always been about how can I show Mizuki I'm supportive no matter what. But now she needs to rethink how that support is offered in a way that is authentic while also rejecting those fears from playing out that her kindness is only surface level. Even though she does know the secret now and things will change between the two of them, it doesn't necessarily like doom their relationship, but it doesn't have to be like Mizuki's class mates and that knowing something Mizuki is hidden away won't cause Anna to other Mizuki. I think the writing for Anna overall has really conveyed how deeply she cares about Mizuki. So moving forward, I think that we'll get to see how she proves that while also stumbling over these identity issues that she's never considered before. And I'm sure that it's going to be like sloppy for her because like, while I think Prosecca does like a really good job with the queer storytelling. And ultimately, like, I feel like there are a lot of queer themes in this game. I don't necessarily think that the characters are 
are going to have like this kind of language to talk about these issues with. I am not even fully convinced they're going to use the word transgender in this storyline, if I'm being honest with you. I would love to be proven wrong, but like that's just kind of how I see it going. So basically, like my thought is the beginning of NF5 is going to start with her thought process and kind of like how she's absorbed and reflected on this incident and then figuring out how she can kind of adjust to support Mizuki in a new way that does justice. When the time comes for them to talk in this event, I would love for it to begin with Enna basically saying that she's still waiting for Mizuki to share the secret with her, giving Mizuki that agency back, allowing her to use her own words, especially since Enna had only heard this from a stranger who misrepresented Mizuki and did it as like an act of bullying, right? Right now, like the reality is that Enna has only heard from a bully as to what Mizuki's secret is, but the only response she's heard from Mizuki was like this defense mechanism and like a one-sided, really distraught conversation that sort of like spilled out Mizuki's deepest fears and regrets. So I do hope the two of them can have a conversation where Mizuki like shares their secret in the way that they wanted to. Now, with all of that said, I kind of want to turn my attention toward the trailer that came out today, along with what was said at the live stream about this event. From what I gathered, like kindness was the main word. We can honestly feel it from the melody of the song here, right? This is so much more gentle and soothing in comparison to what we got last time. Bake no Hana is a very chaotic song. It is like having an anxiety attack. So this is a stark contrast to it. So I do think that it's kind of solidifying Anna as like this stability and person who is going to be able to help Mizuki overcome this very rough time. I think that we can get a lot from just looking at the music video because first of all, the most prominent thing in here is the fact that we are looking at blossoms throughout the video. And that is a pretty significant flower for Night Chord and for Mizuki in general. It brings me back to Secret Distance, thinking about how the relationship with the other members of Nigo isn't going to last and the worry that while they're viewing the cherry blossom this time, that might actually be taken away in the future. So it's pretty significant to see this as the flower in Enna's trailer because perhaps it's redefining what blossoms mean for Mizuki and that there is a way to move forward with people and have long lasting relationships even if you decide to open up to them. The other thing to take note of is the fact that we see all of the Nigo colors in the beginning of the video but then it turns into specifically pink and brown for the rest of the video which are Mizuana's colors. And one other really cute thing that I noticed about the trailer is the two blooms that are specifically together which I think could be a really good representation of Mizuki and Enna with of course the two other flowers that are close by potentially representing Mafuyu and Kanade who of course don't know the secret yet but it kind of looks like at least Enna is supporting Mizuki in this event and then that will ultimately allow them to come out to the rest of Night Chord. So really cool trailer I'm, I'm like so psyched about it. So a lot to look forward to in this event. Surely there's things that I've missed talking about in this video like Yuki for example but I would love to hear from all of you if there's anything else any hopes any parts of like previous storyline that you think that are going to come out in this one I'd love to hear what you have to think so feel free to uh, to comment that below and if you made it this far in the video you are so awesome thank you thank you for listening to me yeah for so long I really appreciate it and I hope that you found enjoyment out of this because I definitely found enjoyment making it see you all next time